everybody, it's Tay here from Tater Tot Arts. And today I'm going to be giving you guys an art tip. So let's go. Okay guys, so the art tip today is ba da bum 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 da da dun 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 actually something for pastel so a lot of people um, ask me questions about my <clears throat> sunset drawings and like how I get the water and it's actually really 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 simple so let's just get started so anyways <laughs> yeah so Basically, ignore the sunset part. The sunset part is actually kind of ugly. It's not the best sunset I've done, but, yeah. This is what I'm more worried about. This is how, is this is the water. And it looks better in real life, like it truly honestly does. But, yeah, so, sorry. Shake it, Jarvis. But, anyways, yeah, so, what you do is you take your pastel, and what you'll do is you will make just lines, just regular lines. Don't do anything else, just do lines. And you intersect them between each other, so see how this red is, like, crossing the yellow? That's how I did the lines. And then, and you want to taper, too. So, like, taper, that way it looks like it's kind of like a triangle type shape so yeah definitely like do the taper and do intersecting lines because that just looks better if you do um intersecting lines so think about it this way take your pastel and say your lines were literally just like this and there was like just gaps would that look as good as if you did that no because this truly does look more natural this looks like the ripples and the water. So, yeah, it just works better. And then, so, on that accord, um, this does, and then basically after you do this um, lines and you intersect them, what you do is you will take your finger or whatever other blending tool. I prefer finger because I find it works the best for this. Take your finger and you just run it straight across. Don't go back and forth. Don't rub it. Don't do any of that. Just go back and do it both ways. All the way down. Until it gets this effect. Now, obviously, you can use whatever colors you want to. Totally up to you. But, yeah. So, it looks, personally, it looks. I think it looks really cool. Because it just is like different and yeah so I just want to show you guys um I just really want to show you guys this tip because I found that a lot of people have been asking me because I've shown a picture of this before maybe I don't know I might have deleted the video but yeah so I um and so I got some questions and so I thought I would answer them so yeah here it is it's pretty basic simple so yeah One last thing, guys, though. I want to show you guys two things that I've actually made today. So, I already showed you one, the sunset, which I'm going to actually... I'm not completely finished yet. As you can see, the blending is not quite done. I just sprayed some fixative over the water because I didn't... You can't really layer too much on water. So, I'm just going to work on this part. And so, technically, that's not actually finished. But, I still want to include it because... I technically did work on it. Then the second piece, which is kind of a doodle. So I just made this palm tree with my markers. I use Prismacolor and Master Markers. I use Master Markers for the trunk and the sand. And I then I used Prismacolor Markers for the leaves and trees and stuff. So, yeah, the only ink, black ink I used on this was the signature. So anyways, see you guys later. Bye!